This is my review of the 2008 PMR. Of course, you can tell it's upgraded. We'll list the upgrades. Smart parts on off, shock tech. Drop forward. Hybrid grips, new designs frame, virtue board, new design silk trigger, new designs eye covers, new designs climbing feed neck, new designs back cap, which really makes it easy on taking the bolt out back removal. And the L7 bolt, which you can see down there, it's gold in color. I should say the Tech T bolt. And from through the feed neck, you can see it's gold. Maybe even down the breech. You can kind of see it. First impressions of the PMR, uh, the plastic frame and trigger, I, it just had to go. Um, trigger sucked, the frame was alright, but you know, I got a good deal, so I did the whole upgrade. Um, so with this particular frame, wide trigger, um, definitely bigger trigger guard. Uh, it's actually uh, supposed to be lighter than the UL frame. Uh, you can see my vids, trigger's pretty quick, no bounce. Um, Hyper 2 reg, uh, it's alright. I mean, it, I've seen better. Um, of course, ramping at, you know, the video I have of it shooting quick, it's quite a bit of drop off of this reg, but, you know, the field limits now of, uh, the, what the limits are, what, 13 M, um, PSP now? It'll keep up with that just fine. So, with this new bolt, now you can see. How much easier it is to take out now versus the plastic back cap, which strips easy, and you need the, that Allen key to take it out. Uh, pull this whole thing out. Um, it's much lighter. It gets rid, you know, only bad things. You no longer have that boost technology. So, uh, it's actually much quieter, quicker, sounds interchange, less kick. Actually, no quick kick now, like it had much of a kick anymore. You don't have to worry about lining anything up. Um, less o rings to worry about. Um, the leaks that you get now are primarily going to be from these three o-rings or I I open this up. I can't take it out but the those three the tip of the bolt or the back of the bolt. There's another one right inside the top hat, which uh, the one on the inside. Um, if that goes, you'll have uh, problems with this, uh, say, marker sealing or returning back to fire position, you'll, you'll have the tendency for it to get stuck forward by assumption, but um, with this uh, we'll get about three more pods of paint so, uh, was it worth it? Not really, uh, it's just different, quiet, you know I guess, as you noticed, uh, with all my markers uh, I have a tendency to want to be different
This trigger, much more comfortable in stock. I can rip like crazy. Virtue board, uh, fast as can be. All the settings you could possibly ever want. Uh, pretty easy to set. I have no complaints there. Uh, overall, another uh, entry level marker. Um, in its price range, uh, the Ion feels better stock. Uh, but as you see, if I compare upgraded to upgraded, uh, lighter um, profiles actually it's a, this is still a little bit taller than the ion um, but lighter easier to rip paint maintenance wise uh, this has less maintenance diagnosing wise the ion is much easier to diagnose when there's a problem um, so this takes a little bit uh, more it's not another, it's another one uh, everybody calls it a noob marker it's not uh, if it was such a noob marker, I wouldn't have so many people coming up to me uh, how to fix my PMR. It's not something you can just pick up and shoot. You kind of have to know what you're doing with them. Um, pretty much feel most spoolies, spool valve markers, are are not uh, geared towards your typical noob. Uh, they're a little bit more higher maintenance and whatnot. Uh, if you're just your occasional player and you just want to pick up and shoot and not worry about maintenance and whatnot, you're better off with a stack tube design marker. Or you know those blow forward, blow back markers, um, like Titman, Spider, Ego, um, uh, Legend, Intimidators. You're better off with that than a spool type. Rating upgraded. This is definitely a probably rate this guy at 10. Um, air efficiency is not the greatest, but with today's type of uh, fast play and whatnot, if you're front to mid, good marker. Bad marker for a back player. Uh, ball on ball, uh, can't go wrong. Any questions? Hit me up. Need a walkthrough on installing upgrades or simple maintenance uh, breakdown, whatnot? Go ahead and hit me up. Any questions? If you want me to shoot more videos uh, shooting this marker, whatnot, just hit. Uh, I'll probably, obviously, on board. I'll probably end up doing that too. Um, 2008. Brought to make Israel. Uh, definitely. Uh, Definitely a good buy. Comfortable, easy to shoot. I mean, uh, all your features are off the back of the marker. Um, you know, on and off. And turn your eyes off with this button. So, definitely, um, gotta get one. Try it.